Khoi region is located in the central part of the Republic of Uzbekistan with about one quarter of the total area of the country, precisely 110.99 thousand square kilometers and its population is 960,000. The nature of the region is distinctively different. The Kizilkum Desert in the northwestern part, the Nurata mountain ranges in the southeastern part, and rich with different farming fields in the shorelines of the Zarafshan River. Together with the Zarafshan River, many large water sources such as Idarkul, Shurkul, Tudakul make the nature of the region even more colorful. From ancient times, Navoi, an important place on the Great Silk Road, located in the convenient location to live on the Zarafshan River river has long been famous for its natural resources, farming and irrigation culture, cotton and silk fabrics, ceramics and other handicrafts. Namoi region is one of the youngest provinces of our republic, founded in 1992. Although Namoi is a young and green region, it has an ancient and rich history that has made a great contribution to human civilization. Today Namoi region has become a fully developed and prosperous area. At the same time, Nawai region, along with its worthy place in the socio-economic, spiritual and enlightenment life of the Republic, is carrying out enormous creative works and historical processes. More than 130 nations live in the region. The administrative structure of the region consists of two Namoi and Zarafshan cities and eight districts Karmana, Kanimeh, Kaziltipa, Navbahar, Nurata, Tamdi, Uchkuduk, and Khatarji. Navoi, Zarafshan, and Uchkuduk districts are mainly industrial enterprises operating in these regions. Karmana, Kaziltipa, Navbahar, and Khatarji districts specialize in agriculture, mainly in cotton, grain, fruit, and vegetable production. Kanimeh, Nurata, and Tamdi are the region specializing in cattle raising. Nawari region is rich in many underground and mineral resources. Total 201 deposits of minerals, 54 units of precious metals and uranium, 38 non-metallic minerals have been registered in the region. In particular, quartz, phosphorus ore, silicon, oil share, chlorine, basalt, chalk, clay, gypsum, ferrous metals, oils, gold, silver, uranium, tungsten, and various non mineral salts, semen raw materials, ceramic raw materials, sand gravel mixtures, and other resources have been explored. The region produced 96,000 tons of cotton, 208,000 tons of grain, 116,000 tons of fruits, 284,000 tons of vegetables and 85,000 tons of grapes. There are two higher educational systems in the region and more than 9,600 potential specialists have trained there. Nawari State Mining Institute is the only one university in Central Asia that arranges courses in the mining and metallurgical industries. Currently, 24.2 thousand tons of cotton fiber are processed by textile enterprises operating in the region. As a result of modernization of these enterprises, the processing capacity of the cotton fiber will increase to 35.6 thousand tons annually. On the initiative of the president, the first time in Uzbekistan was founded the Free Economic Zone Navoi, which was the basis for the creation of favorable business environment with the attraction of foreign investors to the region. Currently, 20 enterprises have successfully implemented 28 projects in this economic zone and created about 1,200 new job positions. At the same time, it is planned to implement 29 projects totaling the value of 151 million United States dollars and create 1,405 new job positions for the specialists. According to the special resolution of the president, five districts Zarafshan, Kanimeh, Nurata, Tamdi and Uchkuduk are exempt from all taxes up to year 2028. The Nawai Mining and Metallurgical Company of the region is a large industrial enterprise not only in Uzbekistan but also in Central Asia. The company 
is one of the 10 largest producers of gold and uranium. Kizilkum Semen is the largest semen production company and produced 35% of total semen production in our country. As a result of modernization of the enterprise, the capacity of the plant will reach 4 million tons of semen per year. Each year, 9% of electricity of the country is produced at Nawi Thermal Power Station. The plant is constructing a second and third steam gas plant with a capacity of 450 megawatts each and will be commissioned in the coming years. Joint stock company Nawai Azad is one of the largest enterprises reprocessing natural gas in the chemical regions for gold mining and low tons chemical products. The production project of ammonia and urea, polyvinyl chloride, caustic soda and methanol as well as nitric acid is being implemented with the use of modern technologies that is worth 1.7 billion United States dollars. Each moment spent on the shores of Aiderku can raise the spirit and purify the hearts by the sight of endless horizons of the lake. Involuntarily, you come to a conclusion that mankind is a part of the nature. We take everything from nature to our needs. Therefore, our humane duty is to contribute the preservation of the beautiful and unique nature of our land and to protect our species and animals. The main part of its territory is composed of the Kizilkum Desert, which is rich with an inexhaustible and incompatible resources. This land is rich with its undiscovered secrets and myths has been serving our people since the ancient times. Hello? Is that have audio? No audio? I guess not. We love this country. <laughs> Don't you dear? Yes, yes, yes I do love. Lovely yes. place. Though Nawai is young as a region, without doubt can be said, this oasis has its long history, old roots. This place is truly one of the cradles of the ancient human civilization. Around Nawai city, many monumental sites, Sarmish Sai, which includes more than 10,000 petrographic scripts carved on cliff stones 6-7 thousand years ago, Sangbur, the place where human had made different instruments and things from stone in the Stone Age, Uchtut, mine where silicon was mined 3,000 years ago with instruments made from deer horns and other animals' bones. These places keep informing us about the history of Uzbekistan's mining industry.